Hi chemists. In day three notes, we are going to focus on the relationships between particles and volume with the mole ratios. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the volume or number of particles user produced during a chemical reaction. Remember, back in our mole unit, we discussed that one mole will equal 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, molecules, or formula units. We also said that one mole of any substance, a gas in particular, is going to equal 22.4 liters at STP. So here's an example of using these conversion factors again. It says how many grams of aluminum can react with 336 liters of oxygen? We'll have to predict the products. This is a synthesis reaction, so this is aluminum oxide. We need the balanced chemical equation just like usual. Now we're ready to start doing our conversions. So our known is going to be the 336 liters of oxygen and our unknown is grams of aluminum. The mole ratio is between the aluminum and the oxygen. We'll take our 336 over one, draw our multiplication sign, and we then need to relate the fact that it's liters of O2 into moles of O2. The only way to do that is to use the conversion one mole of any substance equals 22.4 liters. Now, since this is a gas, that's why this relationship works. Liters and liters divide out. We wanna know how many grams of aluminum. So remember, just like yesterday, the second step is always the mole ratio step. So the ratio is between the aluminum and the oxygen. So that's why it'll be three moles of O2 to four moles of aluminum. Oxygen and oxygen divide out. And then the last thing is, since the question is asking about grams of aluminum, we're going to have to use the molar mass. Again, don't forget to divide by everything on bottom. That's a really common mistake that students make. And your answer should be 5.40 times 10 to the second grams of aluminum. Let's try another example. So it says using the same equation, how many formula units of aluminum oxide can be produced from 137 grams of aluminum? So here's our equation. Again, we've got our known and our unknown. Now the difference is we're starting out with formula units here. So we want formula units of aluminum oxide. So that's a little different. So our, our ratio now is going to change. It's going to be between the aluminum and the aluminum oxide. We'll take our known and put it over one. Again, we have to convert from mass into moles using the molar mass. And then the second step is always the mole ratio. This ratio is again between the aluminum and the aluminum oxide. And then the last step is, since the question is asking specifically about formula units, we do need to incorporate the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number. and then moles and moles will divide out. Don't forget to use that EE or EXP button on your calculator to plug in scientific notation. And so your answer should be 1.53 times 10 to the 24th formula units of aluminum oxide. So this lesson was very short and sweet. And the reason why is because you need to practice and just make sure that you know how to perform these conversions. Thank you so much for watching.